Hello. So I wanted to uh, bring to your attention um, a subject that's very important to me. Uh, when I was growing up and recently, I would have people tell me how great Churchill was, Winston Churchill. And they pretty much said he single-handedly beat the Germans, uh, which on its face makes absolutely no sense. But they were enamored with uh, this man and they attributed a lot of great things to him. Um, there was a couple movies recently about him um, that if you haven't seen, you should watch. Uh, I can put the names of the movies in there if you like. Um, but I was, I listened to this with a little skepticism. Um, and I think by the end of this video, you might agree with me that I'm right. Um, first of all, before he was elected, he was a minister of no uh, renown. Uh, nobody seemed to like him. He didn't seem to have any uh, redeeming qualities, I guess I could say. Uh, I can put some links in for some research for those of you who want to do some research on it. Anyways, he took over. And as you'll see in the movie, if you watch it, um, he spent... A lot of his time uh, sleeping and in his pajamas like Donald Trump seemed to do uh, doing not much more than saying uh, we're not going to give in to the Germans which is maybe a great sentiment but didn't really do much per se to beat them so Q today when I was reading the Guardian it asked the question why are uh, people in Britain not able to come to terms with um, his legacy and I'll put a link in for that as well um, so let's pause for a minute and uh, let me introduce uh, Malcolm Gladwell who I began reading years and years ago I think he's absolutely brilliant uh, so he wrote a lot of really good books and he also has a podcast called Revisionist History that if you haven't listened to, you should. He brings out some great topics and he points out things that most people don't um, take into account or haven't thought about very much. So one of his uh, episodes was about Churchill and his um, right-hand man, let's say, um, who Malcolm points out was a very brilliant man, was a very intelligent man. Um, Malcolm says the second greatest uh, mind, but I, I don't know if I would just necessarily agree with that. But anyways, he was very brilliant. And he points out the example that when Indian people in India needed help by having them transport um, using the ships to transport uh, rice to India that um, Churchill's right-hand man pointed out that all the ships were being used and were occupied which was not true and this led to one of the great famines in history um, and if you have any doubt about this there's a book called Bengal Famine uh, which I'll put a link in as well. You can read that. So anyways, it points out that the reason they chose not to help India was out and out racism. Uh, so Malcolm does a great uh, job of laying this all out and it brings up... Um, it certainly made me question what I had always had suspicions about and Malcolm thankfully uh, did a great job of explaining this um, I don't know how this could not have come out before uh, it seems that people don't want to point out some obvious things if it pokes an eye into prevailing wisdom about a certain topic so now the Guardian pointed out today why are Britons so reluctant to come to terms with um, the obvious realities about Churchill. So I'm going to put all the links in for this 
and you can come uh, to your own conclusion uh, but on this point there seems only one obvious conclusion um, so I'll put that all in but I would love some people to comment uh, I would love to have a thing where we could do a back and forth comments because I, I find that when people post videos the the most important section is where the comments section is. People put some great comments and I learn a lot from it. But I just think um, it's just something that has never been talked about because people have blinders on and they just say Churchill was this great man who did a great thing. Um, but I totally disagree. Um, it just seems that uh, as I learned that History is written by the winners, and the, only, the winners only want to write what makes them sound good. Uh, but more and more journalism is happening now where we question the prevailing wisdom, and we put uh, counterpoints, and this is certainly one that's been a long time coming. Um, Britain did a great thing by standing up to Hitler, but it was the people and the pilots that did the legwork and the great um, uh, did a great job, and it wasn't necessarily just Churchill. Okay, so I'll leave it there for now, um, and I hope that people can put some comments to the uh, hypothesis that I present in this video. Thanks.